Paging part six. So now let's all of this riffraff here. Page one and then our numbers and the buttons. Let's clone that to the top of our page because that's pretty standard. I mean you should be doing that, right? And so to do that, this has to be changes from an ID to a class because cloned IDs will cause pages or errors in your pages. So we change the page display to a class. So we have to update it up here, remember? Change that. Okay, so now the first step to cloning. Let's wrap all of this inside of a div. div. And this one can have an ID, obviously. Let's call it button wrap. And let's close it. And I'm actually going to remove that break. That's just a silly thing. OK. So now we need a point at which we can append this. So let's make just a placeholder div ID. Let's call it lower. Or you know what? Since we're on the lower, let's put it up here. So it's on the top, and we'll call it upper. Get it? Got it? Good. OK. So let's go up to our jQuery. Well, and I already typed it there, because I was fiddling around while you weren't looking. But button wrap, specify button wrap, clone, pass these two parameters true, true, so that it copies all the uh, you know class names and append it to lower. And actually, let's go ahead and move the, this up here. Because remember, we said the set page should always be the final action. Let's see if this even works. Oh, <laughs> should be upper, guys. What are you doing? Well, let's try. Success! And each button works. Each link works. So cool. Does that make sense? Well, it should. Okay, now let's, the next thing we want to do Let's show what ranges of data within all these pages that we're showing. Like this would be page one, we're displaying one to three, then this would be four to six, and so on, <sighs> so forth. So come down here, and let me think here for a sec. Go ahead and copy page display. Let's call this showing. Keep everything else the same. So come up to our set page function. So now we need to do some math. So let's say we're setting the page. If page is the last page, Otherwise, that's all we need to know, okay? So now let's let's start uh, doing some shite. Oops, showing. That's where we're going to show the range of where we're at. HTML displaying. Now we need to do a little bit more math page times per page minus per page minus one. Then we're going to append a negative sign, so, you know, just for shows. Then add items, because that is the 
the upper roof limit of where we're at. Good. But that's only if the page is last. What about when it's not the last? Well, it's a little bit different. So let's actually copy this, put this down here. And all we got to change is this little bit right here to page times per page. Now I hope this works. Let's test it. Okay, it looks good. Displaying one, two, three. I'm scared to hit this button. Ah, four to six. Yes. And this is why we had that if statement so that when you hit next, you know, you can't keep clicking it. Okay, so that was pretty easy, huh? Let's see what else we can do.